Good morning, Internet. So, we're back to that place again, the tank. Um, I've given it a flat off with some 600, because, to be honest, the paint job wasn't brilliant, and in places we've broke through. Um, there, for instance, just very, very slightly there. Um, just on that top edge there. Just there. It's broke through a little bit. So, I've got a bit of friction up to do, but what I thought I'd do is, well, I've got... Five minutes, because I ain't going to repaint the bottom part of this tank, I'm just going to do the top above this coach line. Um, just touch up the areas, I thought we'd get this go, this uh, silver stripe on here. So, um, here we go then. We need to uh, put a guideline on it first. Um, we've flatted the edge off with 600, like I say, so it's not such a, a bad lip, that. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. Let's get a guideline on. Something to help me position the tape. <clears throat> I'm just following that so that the silver tape will go directly over where the paint joint is. I know there'll be people out there going, no, you don't do that because it's uh, it's actually a step. When you remove the masking, it leaves a step. But what I've done is I've tried to reduce that step as much as I possibly can with some wet and dry. So we've got that on there like that. Now then, this where this joins here, uh, that lip, there is a little bit of a lip there, but I've taken the edge off it with some wet and dry. So, what I'm going to try and do is get that silver on there. Use that as a guide. Right, so first, two, first things first, let's get it wiped. <clears throat> get all the grease and shake of it. Like that. Can wipe over these masking tapes, they're very good. Okay, it's fast. It's fast drying system two. Okay. So it literally evaporates in seconds as that stuff. Amazing stuff. Okay, so if you've got a residue, it literally evaporates in seconds. Right, so first job, let's get a length of stripe. Not there. Cut it off. Like that. Put that back out of the way. Right. So we need to find our edge. First. Like that. And we always try and leave a little bit over at the end. And the reason for that is mucky paw prints. So what you do is you stick the end on where your paw prints are there and you're going to cut that off later so basically I know I've got to be careful here because of greasy paw prints but we'll get that there like that. so that bit there that's had my greasy paw print on it we'll cut that off and discard that so that the bit that I'm actually sticking down is clean and easy onto a clean surface never touched by human hands right Okay, using the other tape as a guideline. Very, very carefully. Like that. And you can see in the reflection of the tape, if the silver tape overlines your guide tape, what you want to do is put it up to it. As you can see that, I don't know if you can see that, I've got a little gap there, so I'll just ease that back and reapply it. I mean, not having very steady hands. There we go. I've got my best glasses on, so we should be all right with this. Okay. One thing you've got to be careful of with these tapes, as I'm finding out, is that the moving vinyl they do stretch. So what you've got to be careful of. Hey, I see a bit of overlap there. Look. What you've got to be careful of is stretching the tape as you apply it, because what happens is it, the pressure sensitive. And it will try and shrink back. So I was watching a YouTube video on another chap who does this professionally. 
and he was saying that the way to do it is to get these on and then bake them when I don't have a I don't have a low bake system in place here so what we're going to do is we're going to put them on and we're going to let them relax for a couple of days in the sun so that when I come to put the top lacquer over the top the tape should be well relaxed well stuck and the bit of heat from the sunshine because we've got a lovely sunshiny day today will help the adhesive form a really good bond there we go one stripe in place now I know people will be screaming about me greasy finger marks and all that but we're going to wipe this down again anyway and these are really really quite durable stripes these so uh, make stuff out of vinyl it tends to be very very durable and there we go and that's it it's on so what we'll do now is we'll just uh, twist that around a little bit so you can see what I'm doing I'm just going to cut the edge off that with a sharp knife like that so that's that cut off I don't think I've actually cut that off very straight so let's have round two there we are, it is now right. press that really hard onto the surface there we go right. now at the back end where I said we had that overlap what we'll do is we'll just nick that in line with the edge of that paint this is all hidden by the seat so it doesn't really matter nick that off there so I'm going to peel that back comes off clean I'll take my guideline off now and there you go always retract your blade when you're not using it because it's a bloody sharp blade and you do not want I know it's a red tank, but you don't want blood all over it. <laughs> so, we just run our finger over that again to make sure it's well, well, well stuck down. There we go. And that is the stripe done. I've already done the other side. The other side's the same. So, there we go. I'm going to re-coat that. And then we're going to give it a, a kiss coat of lacquer. And then I'm going to scrub it with a pad. And we're going to put the decals on. Okay, thanks for watching.